Hey, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Jeremiah J. Man Monero. Quick tutorial on how to use the ideal client profile prompt. So you'll find the prompt in the description or in the comments somewhere. I have a Google Doc that's alive and will always be changing. But first thing you want to do, let me just share my screen. We're going to head into Chad GPT. Now this would work with GPT or Gemini. I haven't tried it with Claude yet. Uh, however, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start a new chat. Uh, GPT plus, of course, GPT four. I want to make sure that you have. Now I have this conversation that says newsletter and ideal client prompts. Now I have a bunch of great prompts here, but I want you to scroll down to where it says analyzing the ideal client persona. Okay. To gain deep insights into the mindset experience of your ideal client. Put your ideal client there. That could be luxury home buyer, luxury home seller. It could be first time home buyer. It could be military. It could be retiree. It could be a senior. You name it. It could be any number of things. So let me make this just a little bit bigger so you could see it a little better. There we go. So you're going to highlight the whole thing. Okay. And then additionally, all the way to here. You hit copy, bring it in, hit paste. Now, when you paste, again, be sure that you put in your ideal client profile. Okay, so I'm going to go ideal client. I'm going to say luxury home seller. Luxury. Home seller in Miami. Winter hasn't stopped in upstate New York, so I want to go to Miami today. Miami. We're embarking on a detailed analysis. This exploration aims to uncover the nuances of this decision-making process, aspirations, and challenges. Please address each question separately, employing Python code for data analysis or simulations where applicable. Then you hit send message. It's working. It's cooking, baby. It's cooking. Now, it's going to actually go through each one of these. So there's challenges. You see here, challenges, fears, goals, motivations, internal dialogues, common objections, impacts of challenges, improvements upon resolution, emotional benefits, life without problems, all these things. Now, I'm going to pause it here. But before I do that, I'm going to go next question, right? Next question when that's finished. And then I'm going to keep typing next question until all of my questions have been answered. Okay. Be back with you in just one second. All right, we're back. Now, I didn't have to do next question, actually, because with the Python code, it actually went through all the questions, answered them all for me. But if you ever have an issue where it stops chatting with you through all of the things, just hit next question until all the questions are answered. Now, we want to use this. We've identified our ideal client profile, all of their pain points, their challenges, their emotions. I mean, you even have like a, a journal entry as if they were writing into their diary how they feel felt about, about their experience right now. So you can use that in many different ways. How we want to use it today is creating a campaign. So it could be uh, I have a newsletter prompt in here, but I have an email campaign prompt. So launch an eight touch email campaign tailored to the ideal client profile in the area of specialty. Okay. This is really good. Eight different touches via email. Now go like this. Boop. Copy. We're going to go back over here and say, I'm going to go tailored to the client profile above, because you've already done it in that chat. Okay, you have to make sure that you're doing it in the same chat. In Miami. Miami. This series should weave you a story that aligns with the unique desires and targets of the structure of the campaign is outlined below. Okay, now watch this. Send message. Boop. Get it. 
Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's go. Email. Look at that. This is amazing. I'm going to let that cook for a second. Why oh, no, don't I keep you waiting? Hold on one second. I'll be right with you. Okay, now we're back. It crafted all eight emails for me. Now, it gives you kind of a loose template here. And what I would do is then um, I would go in and say, okay, I want to do the first email. Welcome email. Welcome to your exclusive journey to Miami luxury living. living. And so I'm going to go write email one. Boop. Hit it. Rock that out. Okay. Now you do that for each one. You paste it into your CRM, whatever you're using. And uh, you're welcome. Okay. We also have other, you know, in there, you also have ideas for general content. You could do the same ideal client stuff that you've created to create an Instagram reel, a catchy headline, a Facebook post, a Facebook ad, an Instagram post, Instagram ad, YouTube headlines, LinkedIn, LinkedIn post, email content we just did, blog article, podcast, etc. Okay. But it all starts with creating your ideal client profile because you want to create content and copy that speaks to the audience that you want to specialize in. So you might create a different campaign for luxury home buyers, for uh, empty nesters, for condo purchasers, for co-op purchasers, right? All that content is going to be different. You want to make sure that it speaks to them and not to everybody, to your ideal client specifically. So Jeremiah's J Man Monero with J Man Speaks. Many questions, just comment on this video or reach out to me directly. My link tree is J Man Social Media. Make it a great day.